Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another Pet Lover Summit, nurturing a happy, healthy furry family in mind, body, and spirit. Today, I'm here to introduce you to the absolutely lovely, lovely bleh, bonus speaker. <laughs> Her name is Pam Russell. And I probably did that wrong, Pam. I'm so sorry. Pam Russell. And the topic today is discover the answers to animal care with muscle testing. First, I'm going to read you Pam's bio and hold on. I have my spectacles. Ah, I understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Here we go, baby. I got my spectacles on now. Since a very young child, Pam has always felt a special connection to cats. Besides sharing her life with cats throughout the years, her mission for fitness led to a degree in kinesiology and a minor in marketing from the University of Houston. She has spent over 35 years in the fitness industry in various roles as a fitness professional. When a foot injury that wouldn't heal led her to seek alternative holistic and natural medicine back in 2005, it began a new journey of discovery and learning about holistic health ever since. She began applying what she learned with her cats, getting amazing results. And in late nine, oh, 19, in the late 2014, her cat Snow Bear died unexpectedly shortly after receiving a round of vaccines required for boarding. And that inspired her to start her company perfectly holistic. She writes a blog about various cat topics, offers various services for cats, hosts a monthly radio show, and operates an e-commerce store dedicated entirely to cats. Mm -hmm. Her mission as a holistic health coach for cats is to educate and help cat owners provide the very best in holistic health for their cat. As a board-certified holistic health practitioner, Pam has taken numerous courses in holistic health for animals, muscle testing, animal communication, Reiki, and mind, body, spirit release. She is a full-time servant to two kitties, Gunner and Aileen. Aileen? Aileen. Awesome. Welcome, <laughs> Pam. Thank you so much to the summit. Uh, well, thank you so much for inviting me. It's one of my favorite topics we're going to talk about. Yes. Love it. Cool. Yes. So how are you going to help us discover answers for the animals with muscle testing? I'm so excited about this. I know. And you know what? I, I was blown away by the results with muscle testing. When I was first introduced to it, I had no idea it even existed. And so I'm mm -hmm. sure there's going to be several of the followers and viewers that watch this, this awesome summit you're putting together that have heard this for the first time. And they're going to go, uh, what? <laughs> What, is what the heck is muscle what testing? Is I guess that? we need to start there, right? Exactly. What is muscle testing? You know, I think we should start. We have to step back before that. Okay. We have to talk about energy because yes, energetics is the foundation of how we get to muscle testing. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time to remind everybody that everything and everyone is comprised of energy. Yes. We're all energetic beings, mm -hmm. plants, trees you know, objects, um, anything that you see, even, you know, spectacles, it's all vibration. It's all vibrating at a certain level of energy. And science has proven that there's no, there's no exactly. doubting that at all. Yeah, exactly. So as you know, everything in the universe is therefore energetic and therefore connected like this vast network of energy. So I kind of envision it like a major spider web. Everything is just connected, connected, you know, because everything is vibrating at yes. frequencies and all of that. So mm -hmm. as energetic beings, we are also affected by energy. Um, everyone who has walked into a room where there's like some serious, you know, bad mojo going on, you feel yeah. that versus going into a very happy <laughs> excited place you know there's it's vibrating in a totally different energetic level so i think people yes. can relate to that um 95 of our brain power is lies in the subconscious mind mm -hmm. and the subconscious knows everything the body needs to achieve health and balance okay 
So yes. muscle testing, we bring the subconscious into the conscious awareness, which Love is it. really cool. And so within us and surrounding us is an intri- intricate electrical network of pure energy. And as the energy runs through our muscles, it can be hampered or weakened. It can be strengthened or uh, create, have imbalance by yes. things like foods, toxins, thoughts, emotions, and mm-hmm. other substances and forms of interference and things like that. So muscle testing was first known as applied kinesiology, and it was developed yes. by a chiropractor, Dr. George Goodhart Jr. years ago. And it's been used with chiropractors and naturopaths and nutritionists and holistic health practitioners for years. And that's how I was introduced to it, going to a naturopath clinic. Um, Love it. It's communication via biofeedback with the body. And I call it a very low tech form of communication versus a high tech form you see in facilities and hospitals and things like that. But um, so it taps into the subconscious via the nervous system of our body, okay? Because the nervous system is what carries all the electrical impulses Mm -hmm. throughout our our bodies. So it's basically a way of determining compatibility or non-compatibility with something, someone. Um, Yes. um, It can be used to determine energetic blockages Mm -hmm. and as flows of energy in the body. similar to like the pathways in traditional Chinese medicine is from meridians and, and yes. the system and all of that. And so it's also a technique to address and assess the imbalances in the body by way of uh, determining, I'm sorry, and finding the causes, what causes the body to be weak or strong. Right. So basically just asking a bunch of questions or making a bunch of statements and finding what's compatible and non-compatible and things like that. So basically Mm -hmm. it's a tool to help the body heal itself because you can find what resonates as something that's going to make it stronger versus weaker or Mm -hmm. bring back balance into the system, which I love. And Mm -hmm. you can test, you can test anything. You can test ideas you can test thoughts emotions mm-hmm. you can test products supplements you know whatever it, it's, it's yes infinite you know because it's yep. all energetic so mm-hmm. so basically I was just going to share some little guidelines for people who want to get started and try to tap in with no not try do tap into do. Yes. their own ability because it's intuition that we're building Yes. And being able to develop that skill, because I do think it is a skill that you have to train, like a muscle that you have to train. Your mm-hmm. intuition, we all have it. We all have the ability, but you have to practice it to get really good at it. So if some right. people have a harder time, you know, getting started and tapping into that intuitiveness, other people mm-hmm. just pick up on it really easily. So right. I would say for beginners, Stand, don't stand next to something that has a very, very strong um, magnetic field or electronic charge, mm. because that can, okay. it's, it's, elect, it's energetic, it can interfere when you're learning how to tap into your intuition and, and learning muscle testing. So things like, um, st- don't stand next to a, a TV or a computer uh, don't stand right, right. Up next to a supplement aisle where you're picking up all the vibrational energy of all the supplements in front of you, you know, just mm-hmm. take a little step back. So you're not touching or anything. And I tell people, keep an open mind. Yeah. The answers may surprise you, you mm-hmm. know? And so you can't, you can't go into it with the, with presupposition. You have to really just yes. like, okay, what do I need to learn? What do you, what do I need to be shown? You mm-hmm. know, you want the truth right? Um, and, do. Don't, and don't touch other people when you're testing. Don't touch, you know, a pet if you don't want to be t- testing the pet or whatever. So again, you're, you're, you want to single in on one end mm-hmm. that you're testing. So, so you're like standing in the middle of the room, not touching yeah. anything and not touching any other living being, unless this is something specific you that you touch. are testing for. So we're having our own little zone of, yeah, um, our little, little- cone of silence or cone of uh, cone of truth. Yeah. We're, in, we're in our bubble of truth 
Exactly. <laughs> and then one, okay. of the biggest, one of the biggest things that people make mistakes on is crossing their legs. Oh, so yes. You don't Thank cross you. your legs and you don't want to cross mm. over the center of the body because you break that energy that's right. flowing. So mm-hmm. you don't want to cross anything. So, right. Um, so basically what I think people should start with is ch- learning to check their polarity. Okay. And so checking polarity is very simple. The, the positive side of the body is on the front. So think of like a battery. The yeah. positive side of charge is on the front and the negative side is on the back. Mm-hmm. So when you're chesting polarity, um, you can put your hand with your palm we'll facing your, your uh, forehead. Uh-huh. And then basically ha- if someone is testing and pushing down on your arm, Oh yeah, that should stay strong, and if they flip over, that should go weak because one's a positive, one's a negative charge. Okay, all right. The, the techniques that I'm going to teach a couple today, you can you can also test polarity that way. But polarity okay. is something that's important. Uh-huh. And then also, if you're testing somebody else, make sure you have permission. Yes, thank you. Is, thank you for saying that. Keep in mind. Yep. Just, just because you can doesn't mean you should people right that's important thank you <laughs> and then most of the time it's someone that's asked you to help them or you know whatever but just something to keep in mind yes um, yes so for simplicity purposes because most of the time people who are probably watching this are going to be doing this on themselves or their pet yes so one of, i was going to do three easy muscle testing applications or tests today. And awesome. one, is, one is one that I love and it's so easy. It's called the sway test. Have I you love the that? sway test. It's so easy. Yes. <laughs> so basically you're going to stand with your feet really grounded into the earth and just very neutral. And I tell people kind of learn, know what it feels like to rock back and forth, heel to toe, and then find that center where you're very stable. And then you're going to start and you want your arms to be kind of in a neutral position. Um, Mm -hmm. Like down at your side, right? Down at your side, right? Okay. And then you're going to, you're going to start making statements like show me a positive. And remember the front side of the body is the positive charge and the back side is the negative. Okay. And sometimes you have to say it over and over and over for that for that connection to go from your brain to the nervous system to you uh-huh. right so show me a positive show me a positive show and you would feel your body start to fall forward yes and then if you say yes. show me a negative show me a negative your body will start to sway backwards this way yes and to test yourself you can say you can make positive or negative statements like a test So you can Mm -hmm. say, my name is Pam and I would fall forward. Or if I said, my name is Aina, my name, I would fall backward because that's not a true statement, right? Right. So you have to really, are we falling or are we just leaning? It's leaning, but sometimes it's, it's, it's the body's way of, of sway. It's a sway. Yes. But sometimes it gets such powerful answers that I almost lose my balance. Yeah, me too. (laughs) Forward and backward, you know, because that's a very very strong answer. (laughs) Be relaxed and ready. Yes. Yes, Okay. Exactly. The second and the second test that I love is the O-ring, the O-ring, the finger test. So you make a circle. You can make a circle with your middle finger or your index finger. And then your other finger, index finger is going to go like through the center. Yeah. And you're going to make the same thing. So show me a positive. This is an energetic lock. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. So when they're, when the cycle or the circuit is, is locked, it's flowing, it's strong. Okay. And when the circuit breaks is when it's weak. There it is. Okay. You're positive is when that charge is going continuously and is not broken and the negative right. it breaks. So here you oh, go. Oh, I like that one. Positive. It's strong and I'm trying to I'm trying to unlock it but you show me a negative and that circuit breaks. So you can yes, do the same thing with like your name test, you know, my name is Pam, my name is Aina, it's going to My name break. is Mickey Mouse. No. Yeah. <laughs> 
so it's about <laughs> finding those statements, you know, which is mm-hmm. really great. Um, love so it. I, I love stuff like that because it's simple. Um, mm-hmm. And then the third one that I've learned just a few months ago that I absolutely love is the finger flick test. Have you learned that one before? It sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Okay. Tell me. Okay. So it's kind of like this one that we just did, but yeah, like you're going to flick. Okay. So here's Uh positive where it's locked. Right. Pam, my name is Aina and it breaks that bond. So it's like, oh, that's so wild. It's so easy. Yeah. So show me a positive, show me negative and the circuit breaks. And that okay. is so easy to do anywhere you are. And uh-huh. it's very discreet, you know, it doesn't right. require, it's, you can be standing in the middle of people and be as muscle testing things. People <laughs> will not even know what you're doing, you know, you just yes. have to stand down yes. by your side or whatever. Um, uh-huh. But one of the things I wanted to remind people though, is that when you are doing these kinds of tests, the, the sway, the finger flick or the O-ring, you yes. want to make statements you don't want to ask questions right so you mm-hmm. want to make statements the, for example uh, for example you could even say like I was born in x town x city and that's a mm-hmm. statement um, okay it, it's you know or mm, this particular cat food is in my high my pet's highest and best good that's a statement it's love not that okay we're getting into it yes um okay You can test food, you can test supplements, you can test body care products, you can test um, emotions and thoughts, Mm -hmm. you can test situations in daily life. And I I don't know if I'm the only weirdo that does this, but I'll be baking something in the oven and I'm not quite sure if it's ready, but I'll make a statement like, this is completely cooked at this time. And I'll (laughs) yes or no. And then if it's no, I'm like, okay, how many more minutes does it need? And then I'll go through one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes until I get a yes. Is that crazy? I love that. I but love it that. Works. It's that is so awesome. Accurate, you know? Or if you Psychic have one baking. Of those- here it is. You guys heard it first. <laughs> if you have one of those senior moments, you know, you're like, did I take my vitamins today? I don't yes. remember. You can make statements like, I took my vitamins today and yes. get a yes or a no, you know? So it's just, it's so simple. I love that. But we yes. don't have to complicate it, you know? It's just uh-huh. simple. Yes. Um, Thank you. So one of the things that I was going to just say, how kind to of wrap up here is muscle testing is only good as the statements, the statements that you make. So you have yes. to be very clear and concise and you mm-hmm. can't overload it with a full paragraph, you know? So for break- sure things down so like if you're asking if if you're testing a supplement for your pet and let's say they need milk thistle let's say they they need some liver detox support okay you're going to use a milk thistle product for that Mm -hmm. but you don't know how much to use so you would first start like okay my cat needs a quarter milliliter no half Mm -hmm. a milliliter so find out the amount and then say once a day twice a day but once you yes. get the amount and twice a day then you go on for how many days one day two day three days and then so it's broken down methodically so it's easy to figure out uh, yes one yes. little piece at a time you yes. know so you get very mm-hmm. precise answers um mm-hmm. you can use stuff like statements like uh this product or this food or this supplement is in my pet's highest and best good this product is necessary right now yeah. because okay. there's a lot of products that are in our highest and best good but we don't need them all right you know so i have a question pam yeah so when we're so you're talking about um discovering supplements and food that's best for our pets mm-hmm. is that the time that we want to be touching our pets while we're doing the muscle testing do we want to be leaning on them or having them on our lap during that time or is that not necessary not necessary, but you can if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Well, because I don't need an excuse your, to be around them. Yeah. That's yeah, great. I mean, your intention is to find out, mm-hmm. you know, if this is in their highest and best good. And your mom okay. knows your pet that you're intentionally touching right. for. Yes. So you can you can touch the pet and make the statements. You certainly yes. can. 
or you can just okay. add. Yes. And if you're, and, and, you know, some people, like when I first started out, I would use a picture of the cat on my phone at the store. Yeah. I learned that I can just hold that image in my mind and right. get the same answer. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. That is uh, awesome. And sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead with your question. Oh, I, I was just going to like, I really appreciate that you offered three different methods Mm -hmm. Because for me, you know, I, I've been in, in the healing space for about 25 years or so. And not for me specifically, not every method works for me as far as muscle testing goes. And actually for me personally, the sway test was like light bulb, like that was it. The ones that where you go like this and stuff, I never really mm -hmm. got it. I don't know if it was like a cognitive thing or whatever, but for me personally, the sway test, I love, and some people really, really do really well with the finger testing. Yeah. So it's, as you said, a new tool, it mm -hmm. takes practice and you have to learn what feels right for you. And the best one for you is the one that works for you. Period. Right. right. Yes. I made Please. myself master all of them. Yes. Just be, and it right. took practice. It took a, mm -hmm. like months to get some of them. Like some of yes. the your tests, it took months to mm -hmm. really be confident in the answer, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, that's why I like giving lots of different options when I'm teaching a muscle testing class, because one or yes. two will really connect with, and you'll right. be able to do it like immediately. And the mm -hmm. other two are like, eh, I don't know about if I got the right answer. It wasn't clear, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And it, it is. Is it about trusting ourselves? Is it important for us just to, um, to not question? Well, that's why I say keep an open mind. Yes. So the intention, you're going into an intention with, I want to know if this product is in my pet's high school. Right. So mm -hmm. even if you have preconceived notions that it is, you kind of have to just set it aside and say, what does the body say? Yes. And what does the pet's body tell me? based mm -hmm. on my, my statement, you know, maybe it's a good product, but it's not needed right now. Maybe it's not necessary, yes. you know, having the, yeah, you know, so that's why I said, there's a lot of great products out there, but we don't have to take them all because they're not necessary mm. right now. So like, I love the expression right. at this time. So you yes. can add at this time in your statements, mm -hmm. you know, this product is necessary um at this time this particular job offer is in my best good you know you can just bring it all home to right here right now yes yeah and how about pam if somebody's trying to decipher maybe there's like a specific thing like an ailment going on with their pet and they're trying to figure out where it's coming from how would they how would you recommend they start doing something like that um, there are, there are, um, charts that they can look at with like where the organs are in the body. Ooh. Okay. okay. Or just a picture in a, you know, a diagram with the with yeah. highlights where all the organs are in the body and you find, you can find it on yourself and you can just touch that part of the body and muscle test to see is it, is there weakness or strength? Is there weakness in this muscle or I'm sorry, in this organ? Chiropractors yes. do that a lot. So they'll like mm -hmm. touch a point and do the arm test to see, okay, is they there do. Mm -hmm. or is there strength? If there's weakness, that's where you want to look at, well, maybe that organ needs support or it's, it's being stressed to some level and there's imbalance there that we yes. need to set. Um, okay. Testing doesn't diagnose, treat, or cure, but it For helps sure. hone in on where there are imbalances in the body, where's the need that we need to focus some, you know, some support in on some level here, and it can mm -hmm. be a great tool to discover how to bring the body back into balance and what you need to do to support it. That's so beautiful, and I love that we can use it for our pets and ourselves. Yes, absolutely. and cooking. Yes. And I'll, tell you, <laughs> and I'll tell you one other thing that I did when one of my cats was at the, the vet one time with a urinary tract infection, they came back with, you know, they, 
you know how vets are. Well, we can do X, Y, Z and, and give them this, this, this. And I'm like, right, right. I'm going to muscle test and see yeah. which options that you offered me test best for my cat. And so that's what I did. And that's how I knew we need to go this route. Yes. So I just think I just found that so empowering as a pet parent mm -hmm. to be able to know with my heart that I'm making the right sure. decision because I'm not a vet, you know, right. I'm a pet parent in a clinic with a sick animal and I'm a little stress. You can be, overwhelmed, you know, and just kind of clueless as to what to do and to know right. if what they're telling me is really what I need to do. Um, sure. If you have endless funds, you could do all of that, but is it really beneficial? Is it necessary? Right. You know, yeah. so it really helps you hone in on your pet's care and your own care for your own mm -hmm. stuff, which I love. That's Yes, that's so beautiful. Woohoo! I know I you guys were taking notes because there's some good stuff in here. <laughs> okay, Pam, is there is there any final messages that you want to leave anybody in reference to how we can use this in our lives and our pets' lives? I just say practice, practice, practice. Because good. the more you develop that intuitive muscle, the better you get yes. at finding those answers and therefore making better decisions. I love that. Yeah. Pam, thank you so much. How can people find you? What is your website, please? By the way, we will have the link below the video so that you can click on it and find Pam. Where are they going to find you? I am at perfectlyholistic.com. That's P-U-R-R-R, perfectlyholistic.com. Awesome. <laughs> and then our, our online store is shop.perfectlyholistic.com. It's for cats. And we have a bunch of, you know, alternative healing um, supplements and, and things on there for cats, as well as other fun things, um, services, supplies, furniture, all that good stuff. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So, and we are all so grateful to the spirit of Snow Bear for bringing you these lessons and helping right. people and animals all over the planet with your knowledge. Yes. Thank you. He thank you so enjoy. much, Pam. I love you guys You're all. Welcome. And thank you for being part of the Pet Lovers Summit. We'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself, my friends. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.